Christmas, 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 Christmas. What else can you say but it's Christmas. I don't know if you can see me there on YouTube. Hey, it's me, me murder on tweet, and it's another Christmas time video. And it is 2011, so it's Christmas time 2011. Um, and as you may have noticed, that I usually make a review of a game that I got for Christmas from a previous year. And this time I am um, going to do a very strange one. This might, doesn't seem like my usual, but, you know, it is now, so you know. Well, let's get the review side, but first, uh, better get the light on. And if you're wondering why I'm watching, I am watching some more stuff like on Comedy Central. Hell yeah. Oh, so what you wonder what episode it is, actually. And, uh, but. Okay, it's one of the old seasons. Okay, let's get this on. Oh, I'm light, there we go. Let's see. Um, usual uh, camera. There we go. Okay, today's uh, game is a Wii game this time. Um, some of you might remember, I don't think so, because I don't think anyone really pays attention to what I get for Christmas. And I can see that people are mostly watching uh, uh, so I'm behind me then actually watching a review. So it's so cool. Um I better actually turn up because just in case I get um you know copyright stuff done to me. Um basically. Uh it's a Wii game I got in two thousand eight for Christmas. Uh you might remember it, you might not. I don't really think no one cares and what really remembers. But it was Carnival Games or Carnival Unfair games as they uh, say in the box. Another box says over 25 games. Wow! Amazing! 25 games all into one uh, disc. That is amazing stuff, isn't it? Okay, uh, how am I going to start this review? It's pretty hard because it's a basically Carnival Games is basically a uh, cartridge, I mean, a game with. Uh, mini games in it, similar to WarioWare if you think of it, but not that kind of mini games where you know you can continue on as long as you want until uh, you lose all your lives. Um, basically, when the game starts, you uh, have to make a character, and after you make a character, you're taken to this like n like the middle of uh, the carnival where there's a signpost, and in the signpost there's uh, five different uh, areas you can explore. And uh, see what mini games they've got on them. Like this Love Lane, there's uh, Fortune Alley or something like that. Um, Claw, uh, Lucky Dip, uh, Feel Lucky or something like that. They, they've just got weird names, these lanes. And each one contains their own mini games around them. It's not like they really make sense for what they are, but you know, they are, um, what's called, but. They're all different in every way. Some of them do have a second version of themselves, but they're called Super. Are them games like Super American Football and all that on them? It's pretty interesting that they did that. Um, in the game, after every time you play a uh, particular, like, after you play a game, you win a toy, or uh, you win a toy from how many uh, points you score in a game. Like, let's say in the football American football one, you're supposed to. Uh, throw a uh, American football in a uh, hole and if you do it three times you get the big prize if you do it twice you get the second prize uh, the medium prize and if you do it once you get a small prize but what's that every time you get a prize hey Figgy how are you sorry my uh, cat decided to jump in right um, yeah enjoy that Figgy um, she um, and every time you've won a gift you always get a um, some uh, tickets. Um, the small prize you only get three tickets. Um, middle you get sixteen. I mean six. And in the ten, uh, you get ten if you get the last prize. And if you don't get any uh, at all, you get one ticket at least. And these uh, tickets get you like new uh, costumes for your character. Um, unlock new games. Um, do small little games like the claw machine and uh, the love tester and all that. It's, it's pretty quite cool actually that is. 
but there's not much to it. Okay, and um, also, the uh, gameplay is quite simple. I mean, there's different types of game styles you can play. Cause it, uh, it differs between every level. I mean, like, there's one called Bowler Coaster, where you gotta do that to your Wii Remote to spin the ball, and then you press B to uh, release it, like that. And then there's, and on the uh, foot one, you uh, use the, the remote like a dart machine, like a dart. And, um, yeah, so you, it has different uh, controls, but you might want to know if they actually work. Then the controls do work, but they're obviously sluggish and a bit heavy on you. But they do work, but it takes a while to get used to it. I have to say, I took me a while to get used to it. And I feel like, you know, it was a bit of a struggle sometimes to get it working. Um, but the games do really work. I mean, there are, there are some fun games. I mean, my favourite game on there is probably the Bowler Coast and Cow Plunk or something like that. It's where you uh, hit a ball at uh, claim faces and you gotta get free down. But the other thing I've noticed about this game is that it has very crap Wii motion controls. I mean, yeah, as they said, the controls were good, but I mean, like, general Wii motion controls are like, there's a, like, when you're doing the, like, coin toss one, you gotta, like, do that with your Wii remote. And it depends on how fast you go with uh, your controller. Um, but the thing is, are you fast enough so it will go and move further? But usually, just is this the coin, it just goes, here's me, and there, here's the coin. That. When it's supposed to go like, over there, it's like, what? There's no point. That's, that's just bullshit. But no worries. Um, also, I, um, oh, sorry. You might, um, OCC on, uh, when, if you play the game, is that there is two player modes, so, like, if you want to play with your friends, you can always play with them. It's no problem, whatever. I mean, to be honest with you, the last time I played with it, it was me and my, uh, girlfriend, me and her, we uh, we played it just to give it a test out, because I haven't really done it, really. I, I think we did it once, but, well, once before, but it was all, you know, I don't really remember, but we played it again, and it's actually really, really good to play two places. Um, you can say it's better than playing it on your own, but then there's some mini games you can't play with two people, you know, but yeah. Uh, it's, n it's not all that bad in the gameplay and that. Graphics wise, obviously uh, Nintendo Wii is limited to graphics, but this game's graphics look like Nintendo 64 graphics. Not like graphics really matter, but I think for a console that is supposed to be higher up, it deserves to have better graphics than what it has. I mean, some of their faces, no one moves their mouse, everything's just like this. That and they're speaking. That one guy goes, I bet you can't do that twice. It's just like, he's doing this whole time, he's saying, I bet you can't do that twice. It's just like, this guy's good, he's a ventriloquist. <laughs> but, um, yeah, it's, uh, it's a bit silly, but, you know, it's, that's just bitching, to be honest with you. I'm just bitching about crap, that one. But, um, there's one game I've noticed that is nearly virtually unplayable in that game. Well, I say it's virtually unplayable because I, for some reason, it never works for me. Oh, autofocus, come on, come on, oi, 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 there we go, there we go. Um, then, uh, there was this one, I think it was, uh, what was it there? Uh, huh, what was it there? I don't actually remember. There's this particular game on there that doesn't work that well. Um, I've just noticed that because I oh yeah, it was golf. I've noticed that every time I swing the ball and let go of B, because you're supposed to hold B and then swing like that and then let go of B. Let's say like here's the trigger. You're supposed to do that. Uh, swing it and then when you're doing it, let go of the B button to uh, uh, hit the ball. Sometimes, even when I do it like norm, like a uh, medium, as with the uh, uh, with the ring the coin toss one, it, this is the ball. But if you do it, like too hard, it goes, and you miss the goal. But if you, sometimes it does this though, you know, like sometimes it will work and you go, this is a whole gunk. But 
you know, it's a bit silly why it doesn't work that well. And surprisingly, they actually made a Carnival Games um, golf game. So hopefully they fix it on that game because if you bought that game and it doesn't work, I think it's pretty stupid, isn't it? Ugh. But you know, I have to admit this though. Every day before Christmas, I have to play every day at night before going to bed. Uh, Carnival Games. It's a Christmas tradition I made. It's stupid. Yes, yes, I know, I know. It's a stupid tradition. And I'm embarrassed to even say it. But, you know, I do it because I, I've been doing it for a while. I don't really mind. Well, I, but, well, I shouldn't be embarrassed by it because it's what I do and I do what I want to do. Um, but, to be honest with you, it's not a bad game. It's not bad. I mean, if you can pick up a copy for about maybe five or ten pounds, I'll definitely give it a go. Uh, out of a ten, I'll give it about a seven out of ten. It's alright. No, nowhere further than that. No worries about that. Oh yes. Uh, it's an alright game. Give it a go. It's made by 2K Play. It's the, the little kid version of uh, the 2K games. Heck was. Um, but yeah, that was uh, the review. And I'll be making a Christmas uh, part 2. Obviously on Christmas Day like I always do. And um, what's called? And Actually, today is actually Christmas Eve because it's, it's about what time is it again? That let's check my mobile. It's like uh, twenty past one, and uh, you know I always upload this because I always upload it at this time because in America it's still uh, the twenty third, and so YouTube is always counted to the American uh, time, so it didn't change for us. And uh, yeah, that's uh, my review. Hope you've enjoyed it. Now, I'll speak to you on Christmas Day. This is me, Murder One Tweets on it. And I say, and Merry Christmas, guys. Enjoy yourself.